Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll guide you on how to easily play Union Assembly to earn as many Mega Shards as possible. Here's a small tip. When you're at levels 40 to 49, you'll face level 50 opponents, so try to stay at level 49, 59, 69, etc. to avoid being at a disadvantage against higher level opponents. To do this, Quickly level up during the week of Union Assembly if you're in ranks N1 and 8, then fight. But if it's near the end of the week and you're at rank N9, stop leveling up and wait until the new week to fight. After battling, you can continue leveling up. For example, I could have reached level 60 four days ago, but I stopped leveling up just catching Pokemon and battling trainers to prepare for this video. Let's see how easy these battles are. First, I buff damage and speed for Giardos, hoping it can carry the team. Oh, got hit and lost 300 HP, so I won't buff more, fearing a KO before acting. but we smoothly defeated two Pokemon. The enemy's Pokemon can switch our Pokemon, causing frequent changes, but we still defeated it. Four Pokemon down, and we still have our full team. Next, we use the Sleep Pokemon. Although it only has a 60% hit rate, it landed successfully. The first round was very easy. Moving on to round two, we continue with the same strategy, buffing attack and speed for Gyarados. Since we didn't lose much HP, we continue buffing for an easier win. Gyarados defeated two more enemy Pokemon, incredibly strong, and a third one fell as well. The fourth, Mega Agron, isn't very strong, but we're low on HP. Luckily, it missed, giving us a chance to deal more damage. Finally, Gyarados was defeated, but our second Pokemon gives us a 90% chance to win. We use Moltres, activating Sunny to boost fire damage and easily defeat the opponent. The 
quarterfinals were an easy victory. Now we're heading to the semifinals, which should be exciting. As usual, we buff Gyarados to carry the team. If I'd known the opponent was weak, I would have buffed more. What a shame. We lost too much HP. This battle looks risky. Two of our Pokemon have been defeated. It's time to use Gothitelle's sleep skill, hoping it will carry the team. Oh no, it missed. This is dangerous. But wait, it landed. We have a chance to win. Gothitelle alone defeated two Pokemon. But our third Pokemon was too slow and got defeated. Now it's Deoxys' turn. It has a very high speed, up to 600 points. I wish it had a control skill. No matter, we still defeated the opponent. Only the opponent's last Pokemon left. Let's go. We use Moltres for a quick win. And there we go, easily passing the semifinals. Now for the finals, quite thrilling. Sticking to the same strategy, hoping Gyarados survives to carry the team. This time, I buffed three times and it survived. Knowing this, I would have buffed once more. Almost defeated it, but it survived with one HP. Now Suikune takes the stage.
bit challenging, but we defeated the third Pokemon. Trying Pikachu since we haven't used it yet, but it missed and got defeated right away. Time to rethink Pikachu's build. Our team's ace is up next, and sleep skills never disappoint. Oh my god, low speed, but we survived. Then it slept for three turns. We can't hold on. We need other Pokemon. Hopefully, Suikuni can secure the win. But it lost, too. This final is too intense. Switching to Moltres, hoping to win, as Deoxys can't deal much damage to the enemy. Oh, we have a chance to win now. Moving on to the challenge match, if we win this, we get 150 Mega Shards. But alas, we're up against Pikachu, and we lost since Gyarados, our main carry, takes double damage from electric types. We don't have any Pokemon to counter electric types, so we kept losing. That's the end of the video. I wish you all a wonderful day. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to support me. See you in the next videos.